Okay, so first things first. Bobby Firmino is fantastic. I really enjoy Bobby Firmino, especially you know when he's on form, when he's firing for Liverpool. I really enjoy Bobby Firmino. Now, with that being said, is it realistic to start thinking about not bringing in a, bringing in a replacement, but possibly looking at changing his role next season? Now, next season, we don't know what's going to happen. Obviously, we're still not Premier League champions at this moment. We've still got four Premier League games to go you know, for four Premier League wins that we need to pick up or however many draws it would be to, you know, to pick up, you know, be confirmed as champions and such like that. Um, and we don't know what, you know, we never know how the rest of the season is going to play out in terms of the Champions League. Obviously, uh, they've got the FA Cup as well that we're playing tomorrow. Um, but yeah, like, obviously he ha he's he's been very good for us in terms of how he links up that front three. You know, in terms of providing goals... I think he's scored about eight uh, or something. Um, hasn't scored at home this year um, or in a year, maybe even over a year. Um, and maybe his influence is being a little bit, uh, a little bit less, you know. And it's it's just one of those things. It's maybe a natural thing where people are or teams are starting to figure us out, you know, how we play, how to reduce the effectiveness of uh, Bobby Firmino. Um, and I think in general, he's just sort of. You know, especially a lot, and a lot of the players have as well. You know, where we've struggled to, you know, come back from the winter break and such like that. But even before the winter break, wasn't you know? I think he had like a very good month in in January, but his influence hasn't been what we've known it to be like in previous seasons, like last season, season before, etc. Um, is it is it out of the realms of possibility where we actually start looking at changing Firmino's role? And bringing in a striker, possibly, you know, it's, it's this is definitely a question sort of video as well, where your thoughts and your opinions are really valued. So please do get them in the comments if you can. Um, you know, with the likes of uh, well, obviously the most prominent one is Timo Werner, and him he himself essentially putting himself in the shop window for Liverpool by saying that he fits our system, like, you know, he's very complimentary of Klopp and Liverpool and what we're doing. Um, pretty much almost just slapping a sign on him saying, come get me in the summer. Get me in the summer. I don't want to go anywhere else. Get me over there. That essentially looks like what it is with Timo Werner. Um, and by all means, a, if Timo Werner wants to come to us and Liverpool want him, I take it with both hands. Both hands. And he's actually an out-and-out -out striker, goal machine in the Bundesliga. I think he's tied, or if not, just a little bit behind Lewandowski in the goal-scoring charts. Like he—he he is fantastic. He's a brilliant striker. Gives you every—he gives you pretty much the polar opposite of everything that Bobby Firmino does. Bobby Firmino, fantastic at linking up the play, and especially when he's on form, when he's really at the top of his game, the way he links the play is second to none. It re second to none what he can do, you know, with the passing of the ball, the little flicks and tricks that actually, you know, turn into passes and assists. Um, his actual goal scoring, when he does score goals, they're generally very, very good, very decent work moves. Is it then a case of, okay, next season, Timo Werner comes into Liverpool, how do we change that role for Bobby Firmino? Does it then mean we do a change of system where you play like a 4-2-3-1? And you have him as like your creative midfielder just behind the striker. That could definitely be something that benefits him. You do that, then that linking of the play that he does is still very much there. You aren't losing that. You don't lose that at all. You get him playing a similar sort of role that he was playing during the end of his time at Hoffenheim. Where he was very much involved more in the actual like creating of goals. And stuff like that. Maybe not directly assist, but he was very creative in helping them score goals. The goal scoring load wasn't just on him. And the goal scoring load isn't just on him at Liverpool. Obviously, you know, you've got Salah and Mane as your main main goal scoring threats. Um but to have a striker like a Timo Werner, or even if that doesn't happen, someone else perhaps, I don't know who it could be. Um it could be worth something doing because I think 
I, I just think at the moment, I think our, our system, the 4-3-3, is a very good system. But it could also be a system right now that people just expect. And while we will always try and put the pressure on, and this isn't necessarily just reactionary to what has happened against Watford, um, where we got beat handily 3-0. It's more just a... a We've been flat for a while, you know. Um, we have been quite flat, and I think it was highlighted against West Ham, where we managed to really put the pressure on big time, and it was absolutely exclamation marked against Watford, where we just couldn't do anything. We just couldn't do anything. A change of system could possibly benefit us, and it could possibly benefit Bobby Firmino, Take that, you know, that load of being up front on his own, isolated a little bit. Um, you know, take that away from him a little bit more, you know, make him more just the creative spark that Liverpool have. But it could also benefit a fair few other players as well. You play a 4-2-3-1, then you you play like Fabinho's favoured formation, the 4-2-3-1. You put maybe Genie Wijnaldum there next to him as well. Or a Henderson. What does that? What does it mean then? Because obviously a change of system then affects a few other players in quite a few different ways. Because then you've got an Abby Keita, Oxley Chamberlain. You can't get them involved as much because you're playing a different formation to suit different needs. What would be the answer to accommodating a uh, Firmino moving forward? And if another striker does come in, like a Timo Werner or something like that, what happens to Bobby Firmino? Do we continue with the 4-3-3? And say, for instance, Werner's come to Liverpool and you have that blistering pace up front of a, of a, a Salah, a Werner, a Sadio Mane. Then you play a similar sort of midfield to what we play now. Like, say, if it's everyone's fit, it's a Fabinho, Henderson, Gini Wijnaldum, maybe Naby Keita, you know. Then what happens to a Firmino? Does he get left out in the cold? I don't know. These are just thoughts that I'm having. I just wanted to put them on video and just let, you know, see what other people's thoughts are. What is gonna happen to Firmino moving forward because there's only so much time that you can give someone that isn't necessarily creating assists and isn't necessarily creating goals or scoring goals himself there's only so much time you can afford someone like that before people's patience will run out modern I'm just going by modern football I'll give Bobby Firmino all the time in the world I really will what he's done for Liverpool has been extremely fantastic he's one of the most unselfish players that I've ever known us to have and the fact that he can create goals and score goals especially when he's on form he's in a bit of a dip of form right now fine that's that's okay he's still a class player very 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 good player but I know what modern football is like and obviously social media is an absolute nightmare and they don't always give players time people also re already calling for Genie Wine album to be sold I mean come on really Let's get realistic. So it can be quite an unforgiving place. And obviously people will have their thoughts and opinions. And that's absolutely totally fine. But yeah. Let me know what you think anyway. What what would, what would should Liverpool do with Bobby Firmino moving forward? Um, should they be looking to replace him or change his role or anything like that? Or should everything just stay the same? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please do like it and subscribe if you're new around here. Thank you once again, and I'll catch you later.